Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now I am so excited to be finally sharing with you guys my Matt Haneke X Equestrian Stockholm collection. We have been working on this for over a year and a half and I'm going to kind of guide you through the process a little bit of what it was like for me making the samples right through to today when everything is going live uh, and everything is for sale right now on www.equestrianstockholm.com. So I want to start with you guys at the beginning and show you my vision for the whole project. What we started at first is I sent a few sample photos that I was kind of inspired by um, when it came to colors. Uh, and I wanted to make something that was kind of on the cream beige side and browns that would match. I wanted to have a lighter saddle cloth because I always feel like there's a lot of like dark saddle cloths out there, but there's not many light saddle cloths. I feel like the light saddle cloths are always kept for the dressage arena to, co to compete with just the white cloth. But I think it's so nice to have a light color for everyday work, especially with this material that kind of like um, prevents dust and, and staining. So it stays quite clean. So we started off with a few samples. Now I ripped a few off uh, because I was comparing them. Um, but we were looking at a few different colors. So just to show you guys, these are some of the colors that we were considering they're quite small but you can start to see the kind of palette that we were going for um so we were also looking at different kinds of piping over here i don't know if it's easier for you guys to see a little bit it's a bit overexposed but i can't really do anything from far away here um but we started to play with a few different colors and it was really actually quite hard to find the right colors to contrast the borders and the piping and then if that was going to suit uh because i wanted to make something that suited every horse every, i didn't want like somebody that had a brown horse for instance to say oh it doesn't work for us and then it only worked for a gray i wanted it to work for every kind of horse color um, and so that became quite tricky to kind of try and find the right colors and to have them kind of you know also to my taste but i was very lucky that a question stockholm gave me the full freedom and i was able to come up with this design completely myself and i can honestly say there's nothing really like it on the market um so once all of this was done, we placed in our first order, and I initially wanted to have my whole saddle cloth made out of suede. Now this is over a year and a half ago, so opinions change very quickly because the first sample came, and I'm gonna show you guys. This is how a sample comes. It comes only one-sided, just one side of the cloth, and this is the jumping format. So this is the first one I got, and I I didn't really like this. I thought this looked like my grandma's like chair, something very old, it gave me like old motel vibes, and it just wasn't, it wasn't the right feeling. So we went back to the drawing board and we decided that we were going to go with no suede because it just wasn't translating the same way I thought it would in my head. It wasn't, it wasn't good with the colors we had. So then we got the second round back and we decided to go for the same thing just without suede. And I thought this came out much, much better. We were definitely on the right track here. But the binding key was wrong because it was gold and we were missing just one final touch to really elevate the whole look. That brings us to the collection we have today. The design is absolutely perfect. I wouldn't change anything about it. Uh, and I'm going to start by showing you guys the dressage cloth first. So this is, this is the one. After three years of working with Equestrian Stockholm, I have my own cloth, which is crazy. But this is the Matt Haneke X Equestrian Stockholm saddle cloth. So as you guys can see, we have the brown piping now that complements the cream going onto the, into the, the inside, which is kind of like a champagne-y cream sandy color. Uh, we have a brown horizontal and vertical line cutting through the saddle cloth. And then inside of that, we have a little white border to just bring back that contrast on the side. And the final touch we actually thought to elevate the whole look of the saddle cloth is this silver lining on the inside. Now you guys can't see because it's quite refined, but there's like a line of silver right in there. Right in there, there's a line of silver and it just makes everything look so, so good. It really elevated everything to how we wanted it. Now, I did incorporate the suede, what are these called? Accents up here and down here because I thought it just made it feel much more uh, high quality, which it is. It's a very high quality cloth. We have the shape is also to complement the weather and to give some weather relief. So this is the saddle cloth. Now to match the saddle cloth, I'm going to hold this here. We also have the bonnet that looks like this. Let's let the moment, let's let, let's let the bonnet have its own moment. This is what the bonnet looks like. We have the brown, we have the cream at the top, and then we have inside here the silver and the brown, which you guys will be able to see a little bit better like that right there. So this is the bonnet. And now to match all of that, because we wouldn't be finished without bandages, I knew I wanted to have quite light bandages. So we ended up going with a full cream bandage 
brown as the uh, closing strap and then the silver on the sides to just give it a little bit of extra luxury which we really wanted this collection to have. Now I think they all came in absolutely amazing. Of course we also have the jumping variation of the sarcoph as you guys can see it's the same, exactly the same as the dress house, just in the jumping version. But here you get to really see uh, what the collars look like. And it's nice because it just it just matches so well with everything. This is the bandage, and then this is the bonnet. I'm so, so happy with the results. Um, and it was funny because I'm shooting this actually on the day, it's, it's already gone live. So this, we were meant to be launching at 12. Uh, 12 p.m. and there was so many people kind of on the side and and, and there was too much traction on the side that it was it stuffed up uh, it stuffed up the whole kind of process of launching because there was problems with the website and the IT people were trying to fix it and we were going back and forth and then eventually almost an hour and a half later we were able to launch every single product on the site um, so it's kind of crazy that that happened and so many of you were messaging it like me like Matt what's going on I'm trying to order it is already sold out and the answer to that is no it's not sold out yet we do have limited stock and there's not going to be any restocking I like the Matt Harnicky collection the Matt Harnicky collection in two days it sold out completely and we had to wait like a month and a half for the restock this time there's no restock it's just the one lot that we have everything's in the warehouse everything will be shipped out and as soon as the last order comes comes through it's, it's sold out and we won't be making it again but yeah, this has been an amazing, amazing journey to be on. I, I, it's so crazy to go back and think that I started to work with Equestria in Stock, Stockholm when I was so much younger um, and so much has changed in my life. And to now see my name on their website is such a privilege. So thank you so much, Equestria in Stockholm. I also want to give uh, a massive shout out to uh, Equigenique, who's my photographer, who really uh, pulled everything through the last minute to get these amazing photos. We actually had the most insane shoot photographing with Emporio. He just, it's like he knew we were shooting the campaign photos. Like he was just riding amazing and he was showing off and he was starting to learn to extend and it was really, really amazing. So thank you, Dominique, for uh, supporting me always and helping me through that. Obviously, thank you to Yes as well. He's been a massive part of this journey, getting his opinion and all that kind of stuff. And the last but not least, I want to thank you guys because without you, I wouldn't have these amazing opportunities to be creative in all these different avenues and to be able to put out products that I really, really hope you guys will like. Um, but yeah, I, we've already had so many orders, so I'm so excited to see you guys uh, trying the cloth, wearing it on your horses. If you have anything, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I'll be reposting on Matt Harnicky and Matt Harnicky Collections, everything. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very excited for the coming days with this collection uh, and to keep riding, obviously, in it myself. And, um, and yeah, I just really, really hope you guys like it. Um, but that's it for now. I want to thank you guys very, very much for joining me. One last look at the at the cloth because I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, I just want to thank you guys so, so much for tuning in and always supporting me. It really means the world. Uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Okay, bye guys.